Hi, my name is Nick with RC Mowers, and today we are going to assign and calibrate our actuators. The first step in, in that is to remove the weather plug from the diagnostic port in the bottom of your receiver. Whenever we do this, we want to ensure that we put it back on when we're done. From there, we're going to connect the cord from our gate tool to the receiver and tighten that in. Then we turn on our machine and ensure that the emergency stop switch is in the up position. We should have both power and our red or green battery lights on on the gate tool. Our next step is to connect a Wi-Fi connected device to our gate tool. We are going to go into our Wi-Fi settings and choose RC Mowers Gate 1. If it asks for a password, the password is 2146 2146. Once we are connected to our Gate 1, we can open up our internet browser and type in the IP address listed on the front of our gate tool. When we pull up our main screen for our gate tool, we're going to select calibration. The password for this will be 2146. At this point, we should have our power lights as well as our green receiver linked and our blue Wi-Fi linked lights on on our gate tool. gate tool. We then select assign actuator ID from our left drop down menu. And we are going to start with the driver left actuator. After selecting Assign Left Actuator ID, we want to ensure that the right actuator is unplugged and the left actuator, which we are assigning, is plugged in. From there, we hit Save and our status changes to Complete. Ready? Yep. All right. Then we will select driver right actuator ID from the drop down menu on the right hand side of our screen. Unplug our left actuator and plug in our right actuator. and hit save. If it save is successful, the assign, actuator assigned status should change to complete. From here, we can zip tie our actuator wires back into position. and reconnect our left, at, left actuator. Okay. 
Next, we will calibrate driver left actuator. So we're going to select that from our left drop down menu and we're going to start with the reverse position which is it is what it defaults to. If your actuator spring has not been removed yet, now is the time to remove it with a pair of ice grip pliers. With the spring removed, we can put the actuator in reverse position, which is all the way down. When the actuator is in full down position, we are going to take the value at driver left actuator position and type it into new reverse position. and save. We will reselect driver left actuator. This time we are going to select forward position. We're going to manually move the actuator all the way up. And enter driver left actuator position into new forward position. And hit save. From here, we will reinstall our hydro transmission spring. Center our linkages and select driver left actuator, center position. We will type driver left actuator position into our new center position. And hit save. Now we will go over to the right side and duplicate that procedure while selecting driver right actuator from our left drop down menu. 